The name of this week's episode of One Piece is Hakuba vs. Dellinger, but they might as well just change the title to Hakuba Kicks Dellinger's Ass. This was not a fight, my friends. This was an execution. But this week's episode also just happened to be really exciting, filled to the brim with a lot of big, flashy attacks from some of the greatest and weirdest characters from the Dressrosa arc. The true stars of this week's episode, I do believe, are the duo of Bartolomeo and Cavendish, as well as the return of his Mr. Hyde-esque alter personality known as Hakuba, who just might be one of the most nightmare-inducing characters I've seen from the show, mostly because this is a character that shows very little emotion outside being very sadistic and just wanting to kill everyone like a serial killer in a slasher movie. But like I said, I really love the way that Bartolomeo and Cavendish actually play off of each other. It's very similar to Zoro and Sanji, just on a much more extreme level. So in this week's episode, Gladius had just got done destroying everything with his massive explosions, and Cavendish is trying to run away from Bartolomeo, who's created this giant bulldozer of a barrier, which he's actually using to just pave over everything in the battlefield, including Gladius, Cavendish, and anyone else who pretty much gets in the way. He just really wants to make sure that Robin is going to be alright. But while all of this is going on, we also have another brutal beatdown which is going on between Dellinger and Ideo of the Long Arm Tribe. What I really loved about this episode is we finally got to see what Dellinger is all about. He's a hybrid of a fishman and a human, in particular a fighting fish. That's actually why he has those big horns on his head. They're actually not a part of his hat. And when he starts to go into his crazy berserker mode, all of his teeth are replaced by these giant sharp fangs, his eyes turn pink, and then he suddenly goes on a frenzy, biting and destroying anything in his way. And he pretty much makes short work of Ideo, which, that's a shame, because Ideo has a really cool design, and I really like that One Punch movie did this week, because if you've ever seen, he's got those really big shoulder pads, the kind that make him look like he's cosplaying as an Ava unit, but it's actually his arm, which is still bent up into his shoulders, and he's able to throw these really long punches out and extend them forward. But... Dellinger just completely destroys him. He literally kicks him like well over a hundred times and then manages to finish him off by literally biting into his neck like a freaking vampire. And then this is when the big battle between Hakuba and Dellinger actually takes place. And like I said, it's really not much of a battle. What happens is Dellinger is looking for Gladius and when he runs into him, he realizes that a lot of the soldiers are being killed by some random assailant. And that turns out to be Hakuba, who just immediately appears right in front of Dellinger, slashing him, and then suddenly attacks him one more time with a flurry of well over a hundred slashes as Dellinger is soundly defeated. This is when we get to see Hakuba go on the rampage, and we also get to learn that he'll pretty much attack anyone that he can get his hands on. He tries attacking Bartolomeo in this week's episode, but unfortunately, he can't break through this barrier, and this has a few funny scenes in it, with just watching Bartolomeo get freaked out every single time Hakuba almost finds a way to actually get inside of his barrier. But the episode actually ends with Hakuba suddenly attacking Nico Robin, but Nico Robin is a seasoned fighter at this point, and so she's able to stop him with her devil fruit power and that's where the episode comes to our classic to be continued screen. So what's the rundown on this week's episode of One Piece? It was a pretty good episode right here. I'm really surprised that they decided to call it Hakuba vs. Dellinger because it really wasn't a fight at all. I mean, he just completely destroyed him. And that is kind of a bummer because this was like the episode where we also finally got to see Dellinger go all out and use his crazy hybrid fishman abilities despite the fact that they're not all that special. It's basically just biting people, but his overall transformation into his hybrid form was really creepy, especially how they showed his regular teeth morphing into the big sharp ones and his eyes changing it was some really disturbing stuff but the real creepy factor definitely comes from the character of Hakuba in this week's episode such a disturbing character not even saying a word with that really creepy emotionless look on his face you never really know what he's thinking you just know that he wants to kill anything that he can get his hands on it always looks really disturbing but there are also a few funny bits like when he was confronting Bartolomeo when he was inside of his barrier when they were constantly staring at each other and trying to make his way in and I loved the way they were animating Bartolomeo's barrier abilities in this week's episode because he doesn't just always do like boxes and big walls and everything in this week's episode he does this one where he's able to literally create this giant racket that he can actually smack things back he can also create these human-like forms with them which he can use to just pose because why not it's an anime 
At the end of the day, I think this was a pretty good episode of One Piece. I wasn't too keen about the whole six minutes before we actually got to the material of the episode, but that's just the nature of the beast. Sometimes that happens in this series. Otherwise, everything that was here I thought was really entertaining. All the Bartolomeo moments were really funny and hit at home. You had Dellinger versus Ideo, which was just really brutal and hard-hitting, which, uh, you know, karma's a bitch. He ends up getting destroyed by Hakubo right after that. And he had him going up against Nico Robin at the end. And that's pretty much it. Just an exciting episode with a lot more to come. But uh, still not a perfect episode of the series, but one that I thought was still really entertaining with a lot of the big flashy attacks and the funny moments. So I'm going to give this week's episode a 4 out of 5. Check it out, One Piece fans. If you're watching the anime version or reading the manga, check out this week's episode. You might see something you like. Before you guys leave today, please tell me what you thought about this week's episode of One Piece. How did you think about the return of Cavendish's alter ego, Hakuba? What do you want to see more from this character in the future? And what do you want to see from the rest of the Dressrosa arc? Please tell me in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching my video. Make sure to like it, share with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys again for watching, and as always, stay dandy, baby.